Greetings, old world explorers. Welcome to another exploration into the realm, what it once was. Uh, joining me today is Mark from Our Melted Reality. Mark, thanks for being here. Uh, thank you, Chris, for having me. A uh, really big fan of yours and uh, say fan. I just love your work and uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of yours as well. And uh, um, right here, I have your channel. For those of you that haven't checked out your work, uh, the link will be in the description as well. Um, this is our first chance to have a conversation and I'm pretty excited about it. And I'm excited to uh, um, see what you, cause you do tons of boots on the ground, don't you? You have a bit of a wealth of melt down there, don't you? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, I still can't believe uh, I'm in Alabama and uh, just a quick recap of kind of how I got here, just in the truth community. Uh, we started with uh, 9.1.1 um, and it just led me to to hear watching all kind of other stuff the um, trees say titans um, cataclysms and I was at a point where okay I'm an outdoors guy and I'm, I'm looking around at this stuff just around my house wasn't really going at any sites yet uh, historical stuff and I just didn't see what these other people were seeing. And it, this one guy was talking about trees being petrified trees or whatever. And then he, he actually had a clip kind of making fun of Jerry DeCamp. And it was like five seconds. I, I really got angry. I just, I just shut everything off. You know, I was already not watching television. I was just watching these so-called true stuff. And then that's when I really went out and started looking and and I started watching a few nature video stuff with mountains and all that. And it just clicked. I uh, started seeing, you know, bricks and right angles. And so when I initiated and my first place I went to, I've been passing by for years and I went back there and this was back when I had like an iPhone four or something or six. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while. And I went back for the second time, started taking pictures and video. And that's when I put my first video on uh, YouTube. And I, I mean, I was not into social media or anything. Uh, I didn't even know how to, how to put a video on YouTube really. And, uh, but from there, I just, it, my heart was racing. I'm like, look at this. This is everywhere and, and right where I am and right where everybody is. Uh, I couldn't believe how uh, what I call melted Alabama is. Um, and I've been to some places in Florida and Georgia, too. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, the boots on the ground. It just you can actually that's what was big for me, too. I could I was getting mad because I want to know what I'm walking on and you can actually touch it, feel it. Um, somehow uh, theorize on what what this is or that or why is this brick half uh, rock half brick um, and uh, it was just a uh, just it's like what I was supposed to do uh, besides my family uh, yeah but, you're talking about a calling almost right I'm feeling the same yeah. thing like there's a, a calling that for if you have for whatever reason the eyes to see it's part of your duty probably is to share what you're seeing you know and then yeah. step out on the ledge and risk being ridiculed <laughs> exactly oh it was tough at first too man because just ridiculed big time uh it just around you in life and then uh just tons of comments and stuff back then that's a couple of two and a half years ago or so mm -hmm. and uh and if you can get through that um it calms down it's it's obviously calmed down a little bit now uh with so many people doing it and looking around mm -hmm. but uh yeah uh it well, takes thick skin to do it definitely. it does takes and it, it makes you stronger as you go through those uh that that barrage of arrows right the slings yeah. and arrows <laughs> yeah you know you sort of uh, like you say you thicken your skin and you sort of arm yourself with a, with a bit more of um information on and just more evidence the, the the volume of evidence seems to increase as you stay in the research you know? yes so um yeah i was so you have some stuff you're going to share with the with the viewers today yeah um maybe if, if you feel like sharing your screen and uh 
yeah we can get into that i love the drone footage that you get by the way it's so cool uh, thank you yeah that's uh that was a big purchase uh i had to i wanted to get above yeah and i saved up for a little bit and got it let's see here the thing um, is you're finding you're finding like pipes coming out of hills and uh yeah. metal random metal and bricks fused like it's it looks like a treasure trove down there it really does it no. is let's see did i not let's see yeah. oh okay yeah. it was just a little slow okay yeah, no worries let's see here you got you up there right i guess you see me right mm -hmm. okay so i put together this about seven minute video it's just kind of some places a few places I've been, uh, some of it goes through quickly, but I can pause it uh, and just tell me to go back if, if you want me to. Mm -hmm. It's just some drone stuff. Uh, this is actually the first place here. Um, well, so they must have a narrative surrounding this location because of the red bricks. Okay. I'm glad you said that. This is the first place I ever videoed and there's nothing on it. It's right off the highway, and this is the only place I can't find any narrative, any old pictures, nothing. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, it's... Uh, so they don't have a narrative for this location. Well, they'll have one soon enough then. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> You're actually right. Wow. Yeah. That, sorry about this. So, let me go back. So this is a train tunnel and what here what caught my i got you would never see this uh, except for the drone but this coming over all this brick underneath like mm -hmm. there's no reason to have this brick on top of the tunnel going into the mountain here mm -hmm. so. and that just looks like a dome there to me yeah very melted yeah here's wow. a furnace that's unbelievable one of my wow. favorite students. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, this is just going to skip around. Yeah, you, really? you should slow it down to like a quarter speed. <laughs> yeah, I know I need to do that, right? Can I? Look at that. I'd go back to that if you, if you can. I don't want to like uh, have you jump oh, around no. too Which much. Which one? Uh, keep going. Back a little bit. Well, that we could start here. And like, like this is a good one too. I wanted to stop because on the left there. Yeah, if you just freeze from screen to screen, and I, I'm gonna, because you're kind of blowing my mind a little bit with this footage as well, because it's so glaringly obvious. Hey, look, look at what we're looking at here with the uh, with the bricks. Yeah. Oh my God. And this proves this is the first one of the proofs to me. You know, you have the boreholes that you they say they you know build with the blocks, the boreholes and stuff. But I see so many impressions out in the middle of nowhere on the ground that doesn't belong. And and this to me here is, this is creating lines where the brick was. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, you can even see it bending here and it's pushing all this brick out Yeah, right here. And it's, it's blocking up uh, to there, me. There's no question that this is a brick shape. These ones that are basically what you, what you would otherwise call a rock face still retaining that 90 degree angle of a brick um, you know that's unbelievable and then what you have on the left side of this little canyon or whatever is quite obviously still brick wall yeah back in there right there wow yeah and i got some closer shots of this too uh and it's it's just amazing you have bricks all in between these blocks yeah. uh there's no reason for that this must make people glitch out when they see this people that don't want to see it <laughs> Right. You have to have some sort of brain glitch, really, to, because you can't really explain it. Look at that. You got some red brick just fused in there. Wow. This yeah. is in Alabama? Yeah, this is Alabama. This is the one with no, like I said, skipping around different places, but this is uh, the one with no narrative. Uh, I don't know just... I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this is unbelievable. I'd be out there with my kids, and the kids would be going nuts. And Oh, man. Oh yeah, I've I've taken uh, my both my sons a couple times. Wow! It, it just but wait. Let's see, let me get back right there. Wow! Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Let's see here. 
Uh, okay. So look, the bricks is just going right through there. Wow. So how would you, ex yeah. how, how would the, the uh, um, I don't want to be rude. People that don't see this, um, how would they try to explain something like this? Right. Try, I try to sort of work the work, the details on that. It's like, how do you explain that? You know, it doesn't make yeah. any sense the, at, at all. In the narrative, this is a supposed furnace. One of them of three or four in Alabama and, and they're all built. Well, they all look different. Some are all bricks. Some are like this brick boulders. Some are just uh, stone looks like cut stone work. Uh, it, but they're all supposedly built within the same two years, like 1862 to 64, all of them all over the state. And they all look different. Is that civil uh, war era for you guys? Yes. Uh, and, like two of them they say were like destroyed rebuilt one of them it what it wasn't touched uh i can't remember the other one but did they all have civil war stuff around it and some they say were damaged some weren't uh again so they place the cannons they've got yeah. cannons in place and a, a yeah i didn't see any cannon, for you i didn't see any cannonball holes so <laughs> I like how they have to perch the narrative onto the obvious areas. You see that in a lot of places as well. You know, it's right. a cover story. It feels like a cover story to me. Wow. And That's this thing here, it's just in the middle of this, there's probably like, I don't know, 100 feet on each side of, of cliff. Yeah. And this is just in the middle of the water. But you can't, the water's kind of low right here, but it, when it's high, it goes like halfway up this thing. But yeah, yeah what's that doing there? Uh, yeah, a how, right? A how, yeah. yeah. That's another inside of a furnace there. And and you can just see, this is the only brick I saw in this whole furnace. And it's the inside. I got my drone on the inside. And you can just see the the outside. Yeah, the inside there, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we have this expansion going on on the outside. You know? Or yeah, some, some sort of heat expansion, and some of them did retain their shape and didn't didn't receive the heat like other areas. Oh yeah, is this Cherokee rocks? Yes, uh, yeah, nice. I was just checking that out. Yeah, uh, incredible place. Yeah, um, <laughs> and the end right here. Okay, this is all supposed to be millions of years old, and I guarantee you this is probably about the same footage across from each other. It just looks like two towers, yeah. or just building um, yep. structure. The later Dryas period when the dinosaurs roamed down there? Is that, yeah. is that when that's from? Oh, I see. This one actually is claimed to be either 300 or 600 million years old. I can't remember which. Well, I'm sure they figured it out in those the schools, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the melty. Look at the yeah. melt pitch going on there. Right. I mean, just the whole covering outside of it just dripping down. So they'll try to tell us that this is maybe a slow water erosion over millions and millions of years. It's creating yep. that. Yeah, this is all under the ocean, exactly. Mm. Yep. The horizontal lines, yeah. <laughs> wow. It, the thing is, when you when you gain the eyes to see it, you can't unsee it, right? No, and it becomes so awesome. glaringly obvious. Yeah. Look at that, hey. And then just in the middle of a town in Alabama, you know, you have all these walls like this and then there's brick in it well mm -hmm. if you're really putting stones together like this and mortaring them together why, why are you throwing some bricks in there and then and then all of a sudden it just goes all brick mm -hmm. i wanted to ask you how old is the foliage down there like the oldest trees would you say are how old well let's see a cup a couple hundred they say yeah. um there was one in lower alabama where i'm originally from towards the beach and uh they said this oak was like 500 years old at the time this is like 25 years ago and ended up being killed uh somebody was sawed it down or something but uh, they said that oak tree and it was huge they said it was 500 but you know i just don't really believe that any, anymore you know we're taught rings in school but um yeah. but it's other than that oak uh, oak trees are the, probably the the one thing that they say are a few hundred years old or whatever a couple hundred years old and uh yeah but, that, but that's it uh, that's the oldest trees in alabama basically are you guys you guys get swamp or is that more toward florida the big uh, and things like towards that? florida okay yeah. 
it, it flattens that looks it. Sus- it looks suspicious to me, all that swampland too, like something happened there, post-cataclysm. That's why yeah. I mentioned it. Um, uh, here, that. just just showing the transition. Um, and, you know, people, some people, they just don't, they can't see it and they don't understand, which I don't understand really, uh, but how it just separates, uh, yeah. how it stops. But you always have to have a stopping point. Uh, anything gets cooked, fried. Um, some parts are just not going to be as affected as others. Yes. Yeah. And they work hard. People will work hard to con- to maintain the narrative that they know, right? They put right. a lot of mental energy into trying to explain it through that lens. Instead of saying, I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me, which is, is the logical response, I think. Right. Yeah, because it doesn't make sense with the narrative. There's just yeah. a piece of uh, it's concrete with little pieces of brick on it. <laughs> So this is just everywhere, eh? Down there? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's everywhere. Wow. And this part there just got fried in the middle. This this wall. You can see the outer covering. Mm-hmm. And, and it's it's amazing to think it's always been there in our lifetimes. And uh, we're just gaining eyes to see it, you know? Like yeah. Well, maybe, well, we didn't care. I think they, they keep us in a state of not caring about what's around us and, what, what you know keep us distracted with their cat toys like Hollywood and their, you know, chasing whatever. Exactly. And, and you just think old. It, yeah, yeah. Most people think, oh, it's old. It's that's just old. old. I can't, I don't need to explain it because that's just, they just did crazy stuff back then to build. Right? They grabbed rocks where they needed it, then they have found bricks, they threw some in bricks in the cra- crevices. And... <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, just right? throw, you know, wow. you, you get some boulders and then instead of mortar, you're just going to put some bricks Oh, look at that hey that's a beauty that's a real beauty uh, wow just, just do that you cannot explain that with any kind of narrative that they give us no yeah exactly so we know that we know that we're being lied to and that's really the, the crux of it all right we don't have explanations but we know we're being lied to right yes that's just the same shot here actually um yeah so here's that same place and more brick all intermingled everywhere Mm -hmm. you can even see one down here yeah okay it makes me wonder if the very composition of of the our existence was changed was changed you know like the composition of matter itself right yeah Um, because that's what we're looking at really you know states of matter altered states of matter Right. right And we, we just don't understand how it did change like this, but it definitely, there's evidence showing it changed. Mm-hmm. You just wouldn't put this little brick here. Hello? No, you get that, <laughs> you get in the comments sometimes, somebody who's standing firm and say, there's no possible way that brick can turn into stone, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, how can you be so hard and fast on that if you don't, you don't can't say you know for sure, right? You just don't want to open up that door in your mind. That's what it seems like to me. Right. You know? Yeah, it's just... I don't, it's too impossible, I guess, for people. And then, and if you really see it, then wow, what what happened here? I mean, everything's a lie, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, and and I think we're living in that era of people are realizing the lies go deep, you know, and then people like us are maybe pushing the envelope on that, saying, hey, 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 hey the lies go deep, real deep literally right <laughs> you know you're like like why is this stamp brick in the middle of all these other bricks you know just just questions yeah and yeah just questions questions. Yeah. exactly socratic method right just ask questions just ask yeah. questions yeah and just just what the bricks turned into here uh let's see yeah that this is supposed to be brick right here yeah. Uh, you have brick all right here. This has all been cooked out, it looks like. And then I pulled a piece off, and it's the it's changed, um, changed state of matter. Mm-hmm. And More I mean, like that's a stone, brick. right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, here's the brick right beside it. And then why is that like that? Almost crystallizing there to the left of it. And, yeah. Do you have a lot of red soil where you are? Re- oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I live there. on a mound of clay, red clay. Oh yeah! Oh look at that! Wow! Yeah, just total destruction. This is the one with no narrative. Wow! 
So they're kind of saying that implying that that's natural because they don't have a reason for it. Yeah, I mean, it's there's nothing on this thing. I've yeah. looked deep. I'm gonna have to go around to the water department. Did the waterworks department's right beside this place? I'm gonna have to go in there and Look ask. Them. Yeah, it's yeah, completely you... cooked. Turn the imprint blue. on it. Yeah, wow. Yeah, stamps. Well, I heard during the Civil War they just built walls and, and brick arches just to keep busy until the next battle. <laughs> Isn't that in your history book? Yeah, that's a rumor. <laughs> uh, and they got really good at it, right? They're all brickies. They're all really oh, good yeah. at brick. Look at that, eh? Brick oh. all in there. Yeah. Total treasure trove of uh, melt evidence where you are. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. it's. I'm lucky. You know, yeah. some people live on just flat sand. <laughs> um, and here's the transitioning, too, of this wall. You can see it transition to this rock. And that's where all these little bricks were. But it, mm. it seems to me, once you're looking back at this, too, you'll have these surges of cracks. And, and it's changing it, too. And it's like an electrical heat shock mm. through, through this building is mm. what I'm seeing. But... Yeah, I've sort of delved into the actual building materials themselves, like uh, crystalline structures in the mortar and in the bricks themselves. So we'd be able to hold, if they were built to hold an electrical charge, they, so that electrical charge, it's possible that that could um, short circuit and flow through the entire um, system or circuitry, you know? Yeah. So that makes sense to me, like a like a frying of the circuit board. Because I'm I'm on board definitely with a frying of the circuit board. Something went on that melted all this stuff, and if there were some sort of technology that was being used to power um, everything, um, if if that circuit fried, then uh, the buildings themselves would have fried. It makes sense, you know? right? And all the iron and stuff. There's tons of iron in Alabama. Uh, it's iron iron ore. From back in the day, they say uh, mining and stuff, but but all this all this iron and metal running through these buildings and, and melted cataclysm, um, I, I just see it everywhere, and I and I'm and I'm thinking too that had something to do with the electrical charge going through the buildings, and it actually changed the bricks, the buildings differently around the iron or metal. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is supposed to be natural over here to the right, and it feeds into this obvious structure. Just wow. right, right into it. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a this is in Birmingham, Alabama, and it's uh, what's it called? I can't remember the park name, but um, it's all mining stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. so early or late 1800s, early 1900s, they say they went on this mountain and built off this stuff and mined, but mining iron ore is that yes. mostly yeah yes right here yeah oh i see uh, okay this shot this is in a wow. supposed quarry and this is my favorite shot there because you have supposed millions of years old and what what are these blocks doing down here yeah um, maybe they found some dinosaur bones down there too yeah. to solidify the narrative <laughs> I remember uh, my, one of my favorite comments, uh, this is months back, but a guy, he said, you know, I didn't believe or see anything that what you're saying until he saw this shot right here. Yeah. He, he yeah. said it, it, this one shot changed everything. It's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous, you know, too. Wow. Yeah. How do you explain this? You mm -hmm. can't recreate this. It's a half stamp brick and half rock and it it is it does have metal in it because here's a magnet but um yeah. I, I like showing people this when they they say bricks don't melt or anything but that's the thing you can't recreate this uh it, it, if you put it in a oven whatever and cook it and melt it uh it, it doesn't do this um, no so what the whole thing would go there wouldn't be a some half and half type thing is that what you're saying or yeah or? like the, it wouldn't do half and half like that yeah i don't think um i've never seen one in the oven that's all on that one uh i can go through some pics here sure yeah. let me let me fast forward to this uh, let me turn the sound off on this uh so you don't get a speaking of i really enjoy your uh the, 
the soundtracks to your videos as well. It makes them really enjoyable to watch. Oh, thank you. I've, I've always been big into music. Um, and I, I just, I really wanted to have parts where it's just music. Look at this. I'm not going to put anything. I'm not going to say anything. Just look at it for yourself. Yeah. And, and you determine. So, I tried I tried to do that too and I just seem to jabber on in my videos. <laughs> <laughs> I did, yeah, and I don't know if people like that or not and uh, you know cuz yeah, of course you try to explain some stuff but uh, I don't want to be like oh I'm totally right. Um yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but but okay, this is DeSoto Falls and I didn't know this was down there until I went there I didn't read the narrative or anything. So I walked up to this thing and got my drone and it looks really out of place. It's 105 feet down from the falls. The dam, supposed dam, is back another, I don't know, 100 yards uh, on top. And this guy in 1920, or mid 1920s, was supposed to build this down here with the dam and put a hydroelectric uh, generator on this. And that's what supplied power for like six cities. And this okay. place is in the middle of nowhere. But hmm. just just see it with your own eyes and make your own uh, decisions. But uh, and it's small; it's really small, and it's just it, it's the hardest spot you would ever put this in. And then you're going to put it right in the middle of all these rocks and boulders. Just hmm. same same color. Yeah. Walked all over it in my video and stuff. It's just you can see how it's just out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's a dam up there. Yeah. Yeah. There, there she blows, and I was trying to determine if it was sprayed on or whatever, and you, I really that couldn't like tell. It. But you know, they said they did. This is a big clue too that I think it's uh, uh, some BS. But uh, they said that he built it ten foot high. And then I don't know how long later, it wasn't, I guess, too much later. Then they got funds from people and then they, they added another 10 foot to it. Yeah, but it all looks the same. It doesn't look like it's separately built. No. So, so, so he, this is 1920s. They're building a dam to power the area. Is that correct? Or 1925 when it was supposedly when it was done. Okay. And that's another thing. There's no pictures of the dam not being there before 1925 and makes that makes no sense to me i mean if, if you're doing ago. this yeah less than 100 years ago and yeah. if you're doing this feat you would think you would take a picture of what it looked like before yeah and you're right it certainly doesn't look like a two-phase operation it looks like a single shot um you can almost see the horizontal lines in that too behind the uh yeah oh the yeah let me back concrete up. part there too because i one thing that really catches my eye in my research is um, block work dams you know, those are oh, yeah. to me. Those are a dead giveaway of the old world. Uh, yeah, you can see it there. You can, but even behind, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. that's what caught my eye there. Like and this something... big. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, this uh, huge block, yeah, it just caught my eye too. It's just jetting yeah. right into this. Yeah, it's like it's like bulging like popcorn, right? It's just. Yeah. It's like it's it's uh, a little bit longer, and that whole thing would have been turned into just a ridge or something like that. Na natu nature's, you know all natural yeah it feels like something happened there for sure and yeah. uh, if you're asking questions this is at the very end of the dam why are you even building this here this yeah whole... what do you need that for what yeah exactly yeah interesting so the, the dams are an interesting part of the narrative for sure and i think there was a ma major effort to concrete face a lot of these old dams from the old world that, that remained yes um, yeah, that's what I was trying to figure out too. If they just, you know, put some stuff over what was already there. Hard to tell though, hey? With that? Yeah. It looks like a shell, but it also could just be, you know. There it is, hey? Let's see. I'm trying to get out of it here. Let's see. There we go. All right. I'll just go through some picks, different areas. Yeah. So many bricks. So many bricks. So many bricks. Where is my here? Okay. So uh, this is another furnace. And one of my favorite parts here is you can just see all, this was all brick and it just flooded out here. Um, 
This is all brick. Turned you can into see it changing. Yeah. And you okay. can even see the the brick line going down this way. Looks yeah. like the red. Yeah. Uh, Turning into what we might call natural rather than man-made. Yeah. 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 It goes from from man-made to boom, natural. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did a couple uh um chats with was it Joachim? 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 Joachim, uh, yeah. Uh he actually came and visited me, him and his wife, uh, for about three days in February. Um, I'd say his work red pilled me to the melt. I, yeah. I when I once I found his channel, I started watching his presentations. I was just dumbstruck or awestruck, dumbstruck. Yeah, yeah. You know, like he was he was bringing forth these these visuals, and you uh, know, it was just like mind blowing, mind blowing. That's what got me into this and this area of research. You know, his work so. So shout yeah, out was, to him. Yeah. And I think he it was his channel right when I saw everything. And then I turned back on, say, YouTube. Uh, his was one of the first channels I found. And it just popped up. Um, him and Spartan Red. But yeah, Yoakum stuff just incredible. Yeah. Um, Tartarian Meltdown, right? Yeah. Yes, Tartarian Meltdown. Yeah. Um, here's just... And another thing. All the bricks are mortarless. Most of them. I mean, mm. it takes a lot to chip off mortar. Uh, but, but, but when we see this, just mortarless bricks everywhere, it just it screams to me just some kind of an explosion, just uh, ejecting like everything. Um, yeah, broke that bond clean. Yeah. 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 That always makes me laugh too when they say they repurposed bricks from this and that. It's like, well, have you ever tried yeah. to chip mortar off a brick? Good luck yeah. getting a right it takes yeah. forever yeah um here's a it's shot that just slate it's going bricks going to slate here mm -hmm. uh, it's all in the middle of the of the wall of the bricks um you wouldn't do that building yeah completely um, logical wow <laughs> yeah this is the kind of stuff i've seen you walking over in your videos and it's just like man this guy's got he's walking <laughs> over infrastructure everywhere <laughs> you know i know I, I go to a spot and i'm like wow this has been here my whole life um yeah. which these aren't like right in my backyard obviously but um it's all these places are most of them a uh, hundred mile radius from where i live um mm -hmm. so but that like this stuff it's just incredible i'm walking over it i'm like look at this it's going it's changing from brick to slate mm -hmm. That slate looks familiar, right? We do have some of that not far from where I am, closer to the mountains. You get some of that look going. I'm always looking in my walks whenever I see that kind of stuff for something that's a little bit more brick-like. And I have found a few, um, but not like this. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah, and this is a, a mining narrative thing, but but just the structure, you're not, It's it's changing from from this and you know to eventually this this has no mortar or anything and it's just blocks piled mm -hmm. up uh but yeah just crazy transitioning and there's a weird look to it that's almost like you feel like maybe it's formed concrete but then you look closer and it's like no yep. there's there's bricks and chunks of shit in there and yeah you know oh, it's a, a weird look you know it's a very strange look and everything's so the same and different around here like this it's just so many different degrees of damage uh yeah. i'm just in a candy store over here i just uh yeah and, it's... and another thing the layers of bricks and for me if it's got at least three layers of bricks on the building structure it's old world because mm -hmm. uh, today it's just one layer on everything mm -hmm. um and there's no reason to have here we got one two three four at least here layers uh it goes deeper but and then you look over where'd all the brick go mm -hmm. it's it's all just dirt and rock uh from here on and it was the brick went back deeper yeah even the building method to tie those those layers together is something else you know to make it one to turn right. three, four layers of brick into a single wall, you know? Yeah. So. And the wood factor, I find wood in everything. Um, mm. This is, to me, it's, this is wood. 
mm. um, embedded in this rock with all this other stuff and then concrete looking stuff but it looks like it fried it and now it turned it to, to coal just about um, yeah the pieces next to it looking very rectangular as well in that chunk you know yeah. those little very hard edges on that 90 degree edges on those yeah so the, the list gets into petrification is that petrification like the timeline because yeah. that's part of the problem with the narrative is they say it takes you know millions of years for things to petrify mm -hmm. you know so this is why the, this is it's totally excluded from our consciousness if you're if you're if you continue down that uh, mainstream narrative whatever you want to call it you would you'd never allow this into your consciousness because there's no possible way um to explain it with, through that lens right it makes me think of uh um i had a book years ago called forbidden history uh i can't remember the guy's name but they found like gold chains in coal hmm. and things like that hmm. um wow and they said it was 300 million year old rock mm -hmm. and uh and to me now it makes me think it makes me think now it's not 300 million year old rock it's just flash petrification you know and it's much more yeah. recent i think uh my screen's froze here i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna come back in here okay and here uh a lot of stamp bricks these are even numbered it's the only ones i've seen numbered before uh it's just an archway and all this on top of it is just merged together, turned to rock. But this was all brick. Um, I've looked this up. I can't remember. It's originally from Europe, and then they had a came over here and made a brick plant somewhere. They said back in the late 1800s. But yeah, just crazy. What a there. What, a, what a century that 1800s was, eh? Oh man, they did a lot of stuff back then, didn't they? <laughs> oh man yeah it's ridiculous look at that yeah wow. it's supposed to be natural and then you you have this toilet bowl looking thing yeah that's what uh, i was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> wow uh, this is from a graveyard it's one of my favorites uh i mean it's just what's going on here like kind of mm. architects putting this marble and then concrete over it and you got what looks like brick and then this block, uh, it's just a mess. Uh, yeah. Changing. And I, I still can't figure out that. I, I mean, we're really not gonna totally figure out all this, but the, the marble and stuff, what did they, did they install marble or had, did it change from something to marble? Um, yeah. I just, I, I can't figure that out. I haven't seen half and half marble stuff yet, so. You mean like in interiors or exteriors or anything? Yeah, well, like like say this right here was this that was this marble put here, and then the cataclysm happened because you can see it looks like it stopped here, but then you have something over this side. But was this brick structure and other things mixed in it, and then it changed to that because we see the bricks changing to rock and stuff, so and crystallizing. Mm -hmm. So I just I, I don't I can't really focus on if that's changed or if that was cut back in the day and they 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 made these you know marble stuff and columns and yeah. which i do think they did do that um and yeah. maybe it even changed from marble to different color of marble um once the cat cataclysm happened so yeah i've seen a lot of interiors with uh, everything marble lined walls ceilings everything yeah. you know stairs handrails all marble I've seen green marble, pink marbles, you know, in these old buildings. So, yeah, it's interesting. Look at that. Uh, graveyard. This is, I mean, these are the same thing. You can see down here, the mm -hmm. detail, intricate detail here, this iron. And so it's just basically the same thing. And then it goes different once we get here. Uh, it, mm. but, yeah. but what, what? is going on here i mean i don't think somebody just poured some concrete over this you can even see the lines yep going up here and now yeah. it's like stone concrete um and then what is it uh is that metal metallic yeah i mean i think this is iron it's iron. some kind of metal it's really heavy thick yeah. uh metal and you can see the impressions here 
uh, there's the still something poking out by by your cursor there. On, yeah, yeah. So there's some kind of metal right there. there. Yeah, you bet. Interesting. Like a bolt? A nut and a bolt type thing, maybe? Yeah, but then you go over here, uh -oh, and it looks like there's one here, too, mm -hmm. sticking out. Yeah, so I, I think you're right. I think you're looking at... Well, but they were side by side, right? Yeah, they're right next to each other, which is even crazier. That is crazy. Wow. Now, this is just a boulder on my property, uh, and uh, I liked the what looks like mortar lines. Uh, yeah, get your uh, get your framing square out, and you'll probably have pretty close to a ninety degree right there. Yeah, right you know. there. Right. Oh yeah. 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 They call that however many millions of years old. <laughs> Yeah. This is a supposed quarry. I just like the shot, the scope of it. There I am. But the top, uh, you can see just the 90 degree here mm -hmm. on the top. And uh, just everything's so flat. And they're supposed to dig all this out, whatever, for... Uh, I can't remember what it was. It wasn't coal. It was something else. But the scope of this place is just immense. It's like 30, 40 foot high ceilings. Here. Oh, yeah, I saw this one. Is this one you're with your son? Yeah, yeah, this is uh, the one where we jumped the gate and uh, and went in here. And wow, it's like mm -hmm. a fake story of Jurassic Park going in there. <laughs> That's crazy. There's a apparently there's a big salt mine under one of the Great Lakes that looks a lot like this. Uh, okay, you ever heard of that? But it's like a massive salt mine with those pillars and stuff like that. It's like makes me wonder about a lot of things, really. But uh, yeah. I'm just trying to picture what they're doing in there. Like this is a mine, right? They're trying to mine some sort of ore. Yeah, they said they were uh, coring some kind of ore. I can't remember for the streets of Huntsville, Alabama, during this time. Uh, so I, I can't remember the ingredient, but yeah, that, it, why are you going up 40 feet and 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 the the ceilings are are like flat. Everything else is like jagged and. And you have mines that are only like, say, four foot tall or five foot tall, and the ceilings are flat also. Mm -hmm. And so why are you only going, say, four foot in some mines or quarries? And uh, it just the scope of this, too, in doing this. Uh, yeah. I've looked up what we do today and you mine from the top down. Yeah. You, you don't go in the side of a mountain yeah. uh, because actually from right here, the ceiling to ground level above that is only say 20 feet. So, or 30. So why yeah. aren't you just mining down? Why are you going in the side of it? Doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. Just an explanation, a weak yeah. explanation. Yeah. <laughs> That's there just a know. closer shot of the, the, the brick going to slate. I I love that because you have quite out look at the redness of the brick there quite yeah. obviously red brick and then you have quite obvious slate and somewhere in between you got a little bit of everything in that that photo yeah there. yeah Just, and that slate again that slate type rock looking very familiar to what i've seen not too far from where i am so very interesting as well where there's slate there's brick <laughs> mm -hmm. i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to start digging get the kids involved yes <laughs> Uh, here's a fort. This is in Florida. Uh, it's a star fort uh, for mm -hmm. picnics. But uh, the narrative here, too, of why it looks like this, there was a gunpowder room, and uh, there was a huge explosion in 18-something, and uh, it it did this, the gunpowder room. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. As sure. you do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what were they thinking here? You got straight bricks here, and then all of a sudden, it's just you're going the other way, horizontal and vertical. Well, wow, that's probably the two. They didn't know what they were doing, so they just had some manual labor, and they didn't catch them in time, so they couldn't. Right. The mortar had set before they'd caught them, right? <laughs> and this place, uh, I thought that the Fort um, Jefferson was off the coast of Florida was the most bricks. It was 16 million, but I looked at this narrative, and it's 21.5 million bricks. Which one is this? This is Fort Pickens, Florida. And it says 21.5 million bricks is what they say. Uh, that's just the shot of the of DeSoto Falls, just the scope of the where this uh, supposed generator was down here for the dam. Yep. And the dam is you can't even see it; it's way back here. 
it takes a mile hike to get right here uh and you can see how far up you can't just unless you're repelling you have to go all the way around over a mile uh from up here so so that platform is supposed to be where the power generator house was right here that produced power for six six towns yes six towns and there's they're all still out in the middle of nowhere and this is like 1700 feet above sea level right here so it's uh alabama only goes there's one spot it's uh chiha that only goes a half of oh, so i'm sorry yeah half a mile 2500 feet um and so it, it this is not an easy place to get to especially back in the early 1900s mm -hmm. and you know the whole narrative is like oh we found this picturesque place he just had to put the dam there when there's any other place around here would be a much easier spot to put to uh, put a dam mm -hmm. in this little mm -hmm. generator. And so how are you generating six cities with from here? That's what I mean. <laughs> I just I, mean, uh, I just don't see it. No. Um, yeah. <laughs> and just a close shot of that, and it's not that big. Um, it's just a mess all under it, all rock. Yeah. There's your brick. You can see the brick yeah, in there. Brick everywhere yeah. um and this looks a little melty over here to me the weather doesn't do that yeah yeah, yeah. and less than 100 years old it looks much older than that yeah, yeah. much older than that 1925 is what they say yeah uh here's the ford again and i this is to me the electrical energy just mm -hmm. racing through here just burn it fry. yeah arch arcing 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 through the arch yeah exactly totally wow this That's is below, below the dam. Thanks. Um, and this is obvious wood. Yeah. To me. Um, mm -hmm. And this looks like an impression. I'll go back to what fossils, what they call fossils. And to me, it's just impressions of, of uh, stuff intermingled yeah. in the melt. And some yeah. of it, some of it turns to stone, hardens, and you get that left over. And then some are just the impressions. Uh, so. So you don't think they're from the uh, early Dryas period from 300 million years ago when we first crawled out of the swamps? And... Yeah, you know, I was thinking that at, at the beginning and I was like, no, that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> you can't Darwin. prove any of that, right? Yeah. Uh, whenever, but... I say, whenever I say the word Darwin, it's like a swear word now. Darwin. Yeah. <laughs> Darwin. <laughs> man, yeah. how do you... Man, but I mean, what do you do to confuse people? You go the opposite way. Millions of years old. You can't prove anything. Uh, it's just the opposite. Um, yeah, it, it to totally intention to deceive, right? To yes. Like mis misdirection, complete misdirection, right? And that's why I think we see things like a Civil War narrative and a dinosaur exhibit in some of these places. It's all misdirection, you know, to, yeah. to keep you off the scent. Yeah, because then you get the first, you say something about millions of years old and that's that's just stupid or whatever. And then, then you get the question, do you not believe in dinosaurs? And you're just like, yeah. oh, no. Yeah. It's like yeah. You're, you're missing the point here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Timeline. Um, it's a timeline thing. Yeah. Um, here, I, this is that, that same star fort. And this, this one spot is just red clay and it goes into white sand on down. So you have all this red clay on top of the white sand, but it, to me, thinking that it's just, this is brick melted um, and it, the white is just more cooked out uh, yeah. the sand. Fort Pickens still? Fort Pickens, or yeah. It, there's so many structures around this place. I mean, I didn't even touch the surface when I was here, um, but like this, this is just totally like wonky. Like it's, it's not, straight it should be at least straight across or something and it just kind of curves over yeah that's weird and yeah, all strange. this is red in here this is kind of fuzzy but uh to me it's just brick and this th these parts have been just cooked wow. out more yeah very artificial looking coastline too down in that area like a strange spits of land these yeah are on. you know uh, makes you wonder about sea levels too right let me see this picture yeah, exactly. Uh, I was watching you and uh, Freya, and y'all were talking about the uh, the whole sea, sea level thing. And um, I mean, that's that's another thing they they tell you to look up and let's go to space and all that when when you need to be going underwater. And uh, that, that's where the discoveries are at. Yeah, um, look, uh, just 
just amazing. Uh, we're still we're still flooded. Um, and, yeah. and I was thinking too, uh, did did everything get covered with water? And I, I don't. Yeah, maybe it it came down, rained, whatever, and then all the everything just uh, like piping exploding, uh, water going everywhere. But I, I don't know if everything really got covered as far as totally underwater. Um, like where did where would that drain? Because it's not draining anywhere right now. We're just at a level that's just still flooded, and it's mm-hmm. that's where we're at. Um, yeah, but I don't know. Uh, well. I think it's clear some places got hit harder than others. Like yeah. where you are, it looks like it's got hit pretty hard, but there's still evidence of, uh, you know, bricks and things fused like man-made uh, structures. Um, and then other areas like maybe uh, the Grand Canyon area down there in the States, um, completely obliterated looking like, like, although they have their ruins there as well. So um, yeah. different levels of, uh, De- devastation depending on where where you are probably you know right um and, I mean, what do you think of this being several phases like it's a re- something that repeats or you think it's a one-shot deal yeah at first um i thought it was a one-shot deal mm-hmm. i'm on the thinking of okay i know i think there was a one-shot deal but just because of what's below the water and everything's looking the same as far as if you follow, follow the mountain down or the destroyed buildings, and it, it's kind of the same. Um, but I, I do think possibly there's at least another one um, at some time. Was it was it as strong as the first one? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but it could have been. Uh, it, it just seems like everything was so connected and it just fried. And then ha- however long ago that was, and then they just been destroying stuff how they could after that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's more of a systematic uh, on a smaller scale after the after the major cataclysm. Right. Whether or not that was induced or a natural, uh, um, I suspect there was some sort of induction. You know, something was triggered. But uh, again, um, we're getting into the realm of God. You know, and right. <laughs> this this <laughs> great cosmic battle. So I don't know. Right. Yeah, it's just hard. It's just too hard to. I mean, you can everybody can have a belief about it, and uh, it just yeah. just don't know yet. Um, but I, right. I, like you said, I, I I'm always leaned uh, not natural cataclysm. It was something created it. It wasn't supposed to do that. I it's like so. somebody pulled the lever and uh, overloaded the whole system. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can I can get on board with that for sure. Yeah, and I think, and I do suspect we're in a much more terraformed realm than we are now. And what we think of as nature, while well, we're seeing it in this in this presentation you've got here, what we think of as nature is not not necessarily Mother Nature, yeah. but um, just the, the remains of that cataclysm, right? And much right. more uh, terraformed. Yeah. So here's the dam, and you can see. I think, that, and this is the only picture, and it's really fuzzy, but. Uh, it has different colors here. They're trying to present like this was built after the bottom because it's darker on the bottom. Yeah. And then they, that's what they're trying to present there. This is the only picture I could find with a building on top of that concrete. And it, I did see one clearer than this and it, this is wood, it's like a shack. Mm -hmm. And the places I've been to, there's so many false old pictures where they just add stuff in or it's completely n- not the same place. Now this is the same place, but did they add this building on here or did they have a shack here? I, I don't mm-hmm. know. Um, I mean, what a play, just getting to this spot is is difficult by yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and, and again, why is there not a picture of before this dam was there? It just doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now here's a spot I went to just three days ago or a Friday. Huh. Um, I t- let me huh, let me go to what it was supposed to be before. So this is the capital of Alabama, 1829, um, before it moved supposedly to Montgomery, Alabama. So Where is this, this is 
this is in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, right by the school, Alabama College. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is what they give you of what this place looked like, built in 1829, mm -hmm. all the way, and it was the capital of Alabama, and it till the 40s, 1840-something, then it moved to Montgomery, they said. And then it became a girls' school and till it burnt down in 1920 something 23 24 so mm -hmm. this burnt down just just keep that in mind yeah. <laughs> all i see is brick and stone columns you have a it's almost four stories if you include the dome up here uh-huh uh, built so, by slaves uh well it had to be in 1829 right <laughs> uh yeah. i haven't got i'm still working on this video so I haven't deep researched it. <laughs> hey, kitty. <laughs> um, and here's and another thing. Um, when I, I'm going to show a drone that goes the the foundation goes over it. This looks entirely too big. This mm. this structure. But and while I'm here, this is supposed to be on the inside of the girls' school. And this is there's a circle foundation where I'll show you. And I, I'm assuming that's what this is because it looks like the circle, unless this was the dome up top, but uh, it looks too big mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. where this is. So I'll show that. Let's see. All right, let's go back. Uh, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and play. It's like three minutes. It's just, and it's going to be quick, but it's the drone of this place, of this state capital, 1829. So uh, one more time, here, here's the building that they say was there. And it, the only narrative is it burnt down. So here we go. Oh, yeah. So wow. I guess fire just was burnt hotter back then. Wow. I mean, they, they can say this is 2,000 years old. Oh, yeah. I think say is, I mean, they did. That's one of the earliest dates I think I've seen in Alabama, 1829, mm -hmm. as far as a structure. It's funny you got the white on the inside there still on that part. Yeah, I, I looked close and I'm, I was trying to figure out if it's been added or not. Uh, mm -hmm. And I went both ways. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That would be the only part that they would add, but I, I don't know. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, wow, fried, yeah, just crazy, totally cooked. And these little mini columns are crazy. So, like, yeah, it makes you wonder what were they doing? Because I mean, you think about uh, I'm Kairos' work in San Fran, you know, on the Sutra Baths. It's like, is yeah. this how recent is this systematic destruction, really? Right, you know, and, and what weapons are they using for this, exactly. Um, wow, look at that. It's just, and right here, I want to pause it. It's, I mean, this whole thing looked like this on each side, but this is just gone. And you could just see the melting down. Yeah. Uh, it's just. Stuff. But this is like, this is something that's gone on in the last, what, 100 years, 150 years. So, right. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. But this is supposed to burnt down 100 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the bricks all in the middle of it here. Mm -hmm. There's different, it's different the columns, things. right? After the facading wears off, you get the brick cord columns. Right. Yep. right. Mm. And these designs wow. are, uh, they're all old world designs right here. Um, are you sure you were not somewhere in, in the Middle East here? <laughs> I know it's, it looks very green for the Middle East, but this reminds me of the old Egyptian you know there's such a similarity yeah it's unbelievable and that's part of the wool over our eyes too seems to be the the stonehenge and pyramids are ancient you know and it like keeps right. us from considering all this other stuff you know wow exactly yeah there you go how three four bricks uh wide yeah yeah there i think it's three or four wide uh, there i am i'm real now i'm not real <laughs> you're not you're not a bot 
Wow. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, just it, the building looks too big in that black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there you got some, some bricks just there. And to the left of it just looks melted. Mm -hmm. And this, I mean, this stuff could be hundreds of years old, these buildings. Probably yeah. are, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like I've seen, I've, I've done dives on like Polish castles that are red brick Polish castles that are 800 years old, according to the narrative, right? And they don't look any different than any of the stuff we're looking at here. So, right. Yeah. Uh, they had so, to cram it all into a short period of time, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, um, and just looking at, the, let's say, what is it? All the fires throughout the realm. I mean, they're just one after another, all in the same time period. All the civil wars, every country, if you look it up, every country in the world basically had a civil war. And these things are just, to me, just to to hide stuff. Like, oh, well, that's, that just got destroyed in the Civil War. This was for the Civil War. That got burnt in the fire of Chicago, yeah. Philadelphia, all that. You know, it's just just narratives um, yeah. for for really maybe one or two cataclysms. Uh, yeah. So. They're just covering their tracks, right? And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. And we're, we're hot on the trail for sure. But all we can really do is speculate and bring the visual evidence and bring more people into the fold, I think, that are uh, are starting to see it. And that people are jumping on, I think, you know, compared they to are. a year ago or, you know, it's not yeah. so implausible. No, um, they're really looking at it. And just here, the lines, you have straight yeah. lines. It's a column and now it's going squiggly here. You have yeah. this one brick left over that all of it melted and, and this brick survived right there. Yeah. That's a that's a cool piece, yeah, for sure. You can definitely tell you have the column ridges there. The fluting on the columns, I guess you could call it. Yeah. yeah. And there's uh just a close up of this one. All this is just melted off. It's destroyed, gone. Yeah. So strange. Like what, what's that supposed to be? Like a short column or I know. It's I've never this is the first thing I've ever or first short midget column I've ever come to <laughs> with with this this on top of it, which is everywhere. Yeah. And then yeah. you just have a few bricks and then it, you're done. Like, mm -hmm. but, but then over here to the right, this is all that's left of this one. Um, yeah. It's so strange. Uh, so some of do they like shrink? Were they like, melt yeah, did they go down, just shrink or yeah. were, uh, were they built like that? And strange. I don't know. Yeah. Very strange. Here's one on wow. the ground. It's like half rock. Uh, but you can tell it was a column. All right. Or the, the the top piece of the column, um, the decorative, whatever. Yep. It was. Um, so this was all induced by fire in the nineteen twenties. Yep, fire just burnt burnt down, and then this is what you got melted. Uh, melted. I did read in nineteen eighty eight. They said this site. Uh, I need to look it up more, but it was. They said there was a mound of debris that was covered in grass, and then archaeologists or whatever they came and excavated excavated it and removed all that they said and then then this is what you have left but this is a strange picture of it this is not there and they say this was part of it uh I, they just tore it down but wow. crazy picture regardless um yeah all, all the tree growing right through it it's funny because you mentioned the word mound because mounds come up a mm. lot in american midwest you know, and they attribute that to, you know, you know what they attribute it to, right? The false historical narrative. Yeah. Uh, we have, it must be covering up a lot of uh, ruins, is what I suspect. Yeah, there's a, it's a place called Moundville in Alabama, and it's a Indian burial. They say it's an Indian burial site. Of course, you can't dig. There's mounds everywhere. And what happened is back in whenever, they people started digging and then started finding bodies, bones. Wow. And then they just attribute it to, oh, well, we can't dig here anymore. This is Indians. And then now, you know, we'll put some plaques on it and y'all can walk over the mounds. Mm -hmm. um, here's just a shot of just some bricks I found. Uh, just, just cooked stamp bricks here, cooked mm -hmm. uh, obvious brick. And it's just all this on it, half gone here. Uh -oh. um, so <laughs> got a closet of those. Just a wealth, a wealth of evidence. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. 
Yeah, it's one of my favorite shots. Wow. Uh, you can just see this is brick right here. Yeah. It's gone from that to that, just right next to it. Yeah. Which is amazing. It makes yeah. you wonder, like, was there a hard stop to the uh, frying, right? Yeah. Was there maybe an in induced stop, like some sort of, you know what right. I mean? Like, like on a, I, on I a... think that too, uh, as far as stopping it, mm -hmm. uh, cooling it down. I know the, I'm sure the water had a lot to do with it. Um, mm -hmm. But because you see all these buildings left over and really it's, it's not much compared to the, how big the place is, but um, how did that just stop like that? Um, mm -hmm. I think it was stopped, you know, uh, at, mm -hmm. uh, at uh, whatever time they thought, whoever, however, that would leave certain things. Yeah. Um, like almost like an, oh, no, you don't. Trying to destroy this realm. Oh, no, you don't. Right. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> not entirely. Uh, yeah, exactly. There still will be evidence and they will oh, look at this. Well, wow. yeah, this is a uh, horse spins 40. It's what it's called. A big rock climbing place. Uh, looks just like Cherokee rock. Uh, and like I said, one of them's 300 million years old, they say, and the other one's 600, but whatever under the ocean. But what, what causes this nice curl smooth, uh, you know, water? I mean, nothing does this. This like flash for yourself. Total flash freeze type of thing, right? Yeah, or like it's bending you know, over, yeah. and it just stops. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be instant, instantaneous, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh wow! It's a few more. This is a uh, in the train tunnel. It goes brick, brick. Then it turns to this. But uh, I'm just seeing brick right here, right down in the middle of the hard nineties. Yeah, hard nineties. Uh, sorry. <laughs> was it? Was, sorry. No I'm worries. Sorry. No worries. No worries. Yeah, I just got the uh, garage door. Open. I had my my wife came up earlier asking me for the keys too. I was trying to shoo her away. Like, I'm <laughs> talking to Mark. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It took six months to do this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Totally. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, showing. So this is in that train tunnel, supposed. Uh, but what the bricks doing? It just fried. Yeah, crazy. It's fried. <laughs> and even below it, it's total like yeah. fusing into the earth below, right? Like, yeah, yeah. And just Maybe. totally changing the state of matter of it. Also, yeah. uh, you have to wonder how far a lot of this goes down. You know, right? Yeah. And then you hear the stories of uh, tunnels under all the streets of the small towns and the big cities, and it's like. Wow. <laughs> yeah, tunnels everywhere. It just, it, of course, now it's making sense, more sense, but uh -huh. it just goes so far down. Yeah. Look at that. Eh? I could see how that, wow. Yeah. yeah. How it's yeah. changing to in the background there to what we would call mm -hmm. natural. Mm -hmm. And then here, and the white hazing too. So there's a. Right. Yeah. It's like, it's like a battery acid almost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. leaching, reminds me of. leaching out of there yeah and why would you build you know five six brick deep like just a few feet in and stop like, and they're like hey this pickaxe works a lot better than stacking those bricks <laughs> right let's keep going <laughs> right yeah wow yeah. Uh, train tunnel yeah and it's like 20 feet tall or something uh they said it they went through here. It's like 1,600 feet. They say they went through here and one built it in one year, and it ran to like they say 18, I mean 1970s or something. I couldn't find any old pictures on it. Nothing. Yeah. Um, and there's huge boulders in the middle of it. It just doesn't look like any train ran through there ever. But mm -hmm. uh, just just fried. You could see how it's going from brick to nature. Mm -hmm. what they call nature here. Mm -hmm. Wow. That arcing again, too. You can kind of get that feel. Yeah. Is that the outside of it? There's, yeah, one end of it. Man, these things are everywhere down there, too. I mean, all across the states. Doesn't matter what city I look up, they seem to have these tunnels, purposeless yeah. tunnels. It's crazy. Yeah. And it, why would you even do that? If you're just going <laughs> to, 
<laughs> drill, bore, whatever, that then just do that. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't need to do a little f phony brick facade or, you know. Yeah. Halfway and then just cut it off randomly, either side, halfway. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. interesting. Once uh, you see it, you can't you cannot see it. Like you oh, say. Uh, I meant to show one more pick. Hold on. Sorry. No worries. Uh Got the kitty. Oh there's a, here today. at least a few right here. Four picks, I think. Uh this is one in the middle of a town in Alabama, but here's bricks in the middle of this iron, these beams and just cooked. Yeah. Cooked bricks. So the, the, the narrative surrounding iron, iron ore, and the timeline on that is completely distorted. I think too. Been using it for a long time to build. I think. Yeah. You know. Probably steel. It's different alloys that we're probably not even uh, familiar with. I, I don't know. I'm just totally speculating, but. Yeah. Oh yeah, nice. And this uh, supposed coke oven, but here. You got brick, then it's changing on top of it. You're supposed to be cooking inside of it. Mm -hmm. And it's changing. You can see the brick and, and the rock, and then it just goes to clay, basically, on top of yeah. that. Yeah. So you're getting the outside, and you have a block here, and here's the, one of those, I was talking about borehole lines, but I think it's just the brick impression, the mortar lines, whatever. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. this wraps around, and it goes to brick. You can't see it to the right, but... Mm -hmm. um, I just think all of this was the same thing. Top of an arch, sort of, or the, yeah, the curve right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. This is just a graveyard and a mess right here. I mean, wow. can you even That's try strange. To explain that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, it's just, it's just, Weird. I don't even know where to begin on this. You know? Weird. Yeah. Graveyards are a different, interesting part of the narrative too. Yes, makes you wonder about a lot of that. Oh wow! That's and this, you don't know it, but it's about seventy-five feet up or so. Um, somehow I got a pretty good shot with my phone. I zoomed in, and it's just a leftover facade. Looks like mm. uh, right in the middle of this millions of years old. Yeah, the Triassic period. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Triass they should make a movie called Triassic Park. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there was a, I know there was a, a discovery of a dinosaur bones with skin on it, and that coincided with the release of Jurassic World. Like the archaeological find almost like it was almost like a movie preview for Jurassic World. Yeah. And they date dated it to right before the uh, asteroid um, destroyed all the dinosaurs. So they had a like pinpointed date to like the moment before the asteroid struck this was preserved and because of that there's still even a little bit of skin on this piece of fragment of dinosaur that we found and by the way here's jurassic world hitting theaters next week yeah <laughs> seriously this you can look at up the timeline it's wow. ridiculous you got attenborough in the background with his we believe we have found the moment of impact <laughs> it's like come on people <laughs> yeah where did the big meteor go like yeah right you know? right <laughs> make anyway. this huge you know uh spot and then and then there's but there's no meteor uh just disintegrated when it hit i guess right <laughs> yeah 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 it's 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 actually to me it's completely laughable the whole whole thing yeah. is uh i do want to share one thing i found with you and get your opinion on it if you don't mind if you've got a oh, bit yeah. more time most definitely okay um let me see here I've got Google Earth open, and I hope it doesn't glitch out my computer. So I'm going to give her a try here. So I'm, I'm working on a little video of a little town in Pennsylvania called uh, Pottsville, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. And uh, not far from the town, I find this rock formation, natural rock formation, of course. Hmm. Of course. So I wanted to share that with you. And then I want to talk about the, the greater formation that it's a part of. So this is called Boxcar Rocks in Pennsylvania. And uh, let's look at some of the visuals of this. Actually, I'll, I'll move out. I'm not a great um, Google Earth navigator, but... No, I'm not either. <laughs> you can see they have something called the Chinese Wall next to it. But can you can see this? Can you see yeah. this ridge right here? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this entire formation, there's another ridge here, another ridge here. And as I zoom out, mm -hmm. and this, this flows right down close to your neck of the woods. Wow, you can yeah. see the that V shape there. 
Yeah. To me, this is nothing, not natural um, mountainous formations that, that I can think of, like what I'm used to anyway. So I thought this was really anomalous. So I decided yeah. to, I wanted to share that with you. Just the completely straight. Hey? Eh? Just completely straight like that too. Wow. Yeah. And there are all these ridges and you can see them now as they zoom out, these lines, they work their way right down close to where you are actually eventually. Wow. But yeah. uh, let, me get, let me get the boxcar rocks before I show you more of that. Get your take on this. Oh wow! Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So here it is, boxcar rocks, right? Natural formation out in the hills of Pennsylvania. Straight lines, ninety degrees. Yeah. Kids huh. having fun up there. You can see the pebbling though. Yeah. Right. Yo. It's funny because I find this kind of stuff all over on my research, you know. Yeah, I mean, that kind of stuff just everywhere. It looks just the same as here, like like you're saying too, that stuff yeah. that you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> There's a couple more here. Ooh, I don't like those. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Big, massive block work. They found a lot of this in northern Russia, this type of stuff too, right? The megalithic block. That was some of the early stuff that I came across, this megaliths in Russia. That really got me thinking. You know, yeah, Russia is a hot spot for, for this kind of stuff, man. Yeah. There, you can see the pebbling. On oh, the yeah, there. great. Right. Yeah, I think they say that that, that formed under underwater. Yeah. Well, they know because they went to school for it. And yeah. Schools don't lie. It says it in the book. Oh, wow. Look at what in the world. Yeah, is I, don't, that? I don't know what that is. That's interesting. Somebody added it, right? Maybe. Probably. Yeah. But again, yeah, the pebbling. Yeah. All right. So I wanted to share, share the formation with you. There's a bunch, actually. So let me get back to the, that sort of sweeping hills or whatever they are. They're ridges. If I get in closer. These are all like, you can see them, right? Yeah. These, they're all ridges here. It's like somebody dragged their fingers across. That's what it feels like. But there's, I found as I, as I explored down through here, I found all sorts of little, you know, castle and wall type formations, you know, in some spots in, intermittently. And it goes all the way down. It sweeps down through right down close to your area. You can see it still here. Yeah. I mean, right down Continuing here. Continuing all the way down there. Wow. Yeah. Right now, oh, a lot of my research is just me clicking on doing a lot of doing this type of uh, um, hunting around, right? And then yeah. clicking on a national park, and it's like, wow, that's melted, that's melted, that's melted, right? But I just wanted and, to share that with you, and I'm sort of following that formation these days and looking for spots to uh, highlight. So yeah, and Pennsylvania is loaded with stuff too. I'd, I'd love to to go up there, but yeah, they, well, again, mining there as well, right? Yeah, a bunch of mining, a bunch of caves, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I got the cat harassing me here. So, um, what do you think? Should we wrap it up? How are you feeling? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, whenever. It, it, we could go all deal. day, but I think we could uh, think. I like to snip them up a little bit for viewers. So, sometimes it's daunting when they see like a two, three hour. Like, yes. oh, man, I don't know if I can invest that. But, uh, but it's yeah, been good. I been... Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was just saying, yeah, I haven't done a live in a while. But, uh, I, I'm trying to get that hour, hour and 15 minute window of, of, of those just because it is uh, even for us or whatever. If it's, if I see you have like a two hour thing on their uh, video, it just OK, I have to watch this in segments. Uh, I don't have time, yeah. but it, if you can get it with an hour or whatever, uh, I think it's it, it, more people will watch it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I agree. And so, and I had talked to Ashley over at Freya about the three of us getting together, having a conversation live, I think would be good. Yeah. The three of us, yeah. if you'd be down for that. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I even commented to her, I think, uh, the other day she was talking about that. I was telling her I was going to do a recording with you and she mentioned that. I was like, yes, nice trio. Need to do that. Yeah, yeah it could be good. So let's uh, let's try to plan for that and maybe sooner than six months, but we'll see how life yeah. takes us, right? <laughs> right, um, man. Yeah, I'll try to pursue it for here in the next little while. But uh, it's nice, uh, nice getting to know you, and I'm glad we were able to connect like this. And it's nice to have another friend in the uh, in the scene, I guess you could say. 
Yes, thank you so much for uh, for having me, man. I appreciate it. Loved it. Thanks for joining me.